hey guys welcome back to another one of my videos today i'll be showing you guys a quick and efficient method for removing backgrounds with corel photo paint before we get started i'm fit abe if you're new here and i do a lot of corel draw tutorial videos so if you're interested hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and leave a comment and let's get straight into the video In one of my videos on removing backgrounds, we discussed a very easy way of removing backgrounds using bitmap color marks. However, this approach doesn't always work in every case. Like when the color of the background you want to erase is either similar to the main image or even present within the main image. So when you click apply here and increase the tolerance, it ends up removing not only the background but also parts of the image itself. We could try to select specific colors of the background to make it even perfect. But then you will notice little parts of the image might be removed, like the brows and the lips area. And reducing the tolerance will bring back the background. So this method is suitable when you're dealing with a completely distinct background color, like the examples in my previous video. Now using Corel Photo Paint, begin by converting the image into bitmaps. By going to the bitmaps tab, select convert to bitmaps and then confirm with OK. Now the image has been converted. So right click on it and select edit bitmaps. This opens up Corel Photo Pen, a program always included with Corel Draw. Here there are different tools made available for removing backgrounds. For images with uncomplicated backgrounds like the one we have here, you can go for the color transparency tool. First select the image with the pick tool and then select color transparency over here. You can adjust the tolerance level up here that determines the extent to which the background is removed. Leaving it at 6, I select the background area and it removes a portion of the background. While by increasing the tolerance, more of the background is removed. So basically, you just adjust the tolerance when needed while you are clicking on the background area you want to remove. So guys, once you're satisfied with the background remover, click on finish editing and click yes to save changes in Corel Draw. Returning to Corel Draw, you'd notice the background has been removed. So for images with intricate backgrounds, those with multiple colors or any kind of background, the best approach is using magic brush. As its name implies, this tool works like magic. So convert to bitmaps and then go for that to edit bitmaps. Oh, it's down here. Select magic wand here. Determine your preferred tolerance level and click on the background area. Then press delete on your keyboard to erase it. So you just keep clicking and deleting, adjusting the tolerance level when needed. You can always click this reverse arrow to undo an action. So I'll just finish editing and crop the other part out in Corel Draw, you know, using the shape tool. Thank you. 
Let's look at two more using magic brush. I know it's so fun, isn't it? Because removing backgrounds can be very taxing. And now there is an easy way around it. I can just keep doing it. So using magic brush with increased tolerance of 19, I can just click on this background and it goes by pressing delete. And the last one with a difficult background. Don't forget to always convert it to bitmaps. Not all images actually require that, but there are some images you'd need to convert before you can select them in Corel Photo Paint. Trying out color transparency. It removed part of the main image. Why? Because the main image has part of the color we are trying to remove. So we use magic one. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button if you've not done so for more tutorial videos like this. Thank you so much for staying and for watching till the end. See you guys in my next video.